Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Former President Donald Trump took on both Bidens during his MAGA themed 78th birthday party in Florida Friday night. Thousands of the ex president's faithful gathered at the Palm Beach County Convention Center to mark the big occasion wearing a variety of red, white and blue outfits to salute Trump's birthday coinciding with Flag Day. The head of the Club 47, South Florida's large pro-Trump club, presented the presumptive GOP nominee with a six-tiered cake featuring a MAGA hat and scenes from the White House and the golf course. The crowd sang Trump, Happy Birthday, while he marveled in return, this is the biggest birthday party I've ever had by far. But instead of cutting the cake, he cut into the Bidens, pointing to the now viral moment of the 81-year-old president wandering away during a parachute demonstration with G7 leaders. The new leader of Italy did a great job. She said, turn around you fool, Trump said. And then his wife flew back and forth like it was a taxicab. The viral clip, shared by conservative accounts online, failed to show that Biden had walked over to talk to a parachutist who had just landed. First Lady Jill Biden flew from France back to Wilmington last week to spend the day with Sun Hunter in court, before boarding her government plant to fly back to Paris for a state dinner with the Macrons. It's really terrible, Trump commented on the back and forth. On Wednesday a Delaware-based jury convicted Hunter on three federal gun charges. As Trump turned a year older, he hit Biden on the Democrats' competency and age. Just look at him yesterday. Look at him the day before. In Europe. He doesn't know where the hell he is, Trump remarked. The guy is lost, he said at another point during his appearance. With Representative Ronnie Jackson, a former White House doctor, as part of the night's pre-show, Trump also recalled how he aced a cognitive test under Jackson's watch. I aced it, he said with a grin. Two potential VP picks bookend the pre-show, with the birthday event kicking off with Florida Representative Byron Donalds leading the crowd in prayer and Florida Senator Marco Rubio giving the final speech before the cake, and then Trump, arrived. At just 45 and in his second term of Congress, Donald's political rise has been rapid. He's one of three black men Trump is reportedly considering for the number two spot on the ticket, alongside South Carolina Senator Tim Scott and former HUD director Ben Carson. He wished a, a happy birthday to the 45th and 47th president of the United States to cheers and applause. Rubio, a Cuban-American from Miami, was one of Trump's 2016 rivals, and slapped him around at the end of that cycle's GOP primary, after Trump had nicknamed him Little Marco. The Florida senator emerged as a Trump donor favorite several months back and appears to remain in the running for VP. Florida Representative Mike Waltz teased that fact Friday before Rubio came out on stage. Maybe Florida might have a new vice president. We'll see, Walt said. The man who once mocked Trump's hand size and suggested he might have wet his pants on Friday talked about the ex-president and presumptive nominee's love of country. There's only one reason like someone like him would be in politics, Rubio said, pointing out how Trump is wealthy, has a, a great family and could be doing a lot of other things with his life. There's only one reason, because he loves our country and he wants to save it from people who want to destroy it, Rubio said. The Florida senator noted how a lot politicians leave richer. Politics has cost him money, he said of Trump. Rubio was liked well enough by the Florida crowd, but wasn't necessarily the top vice presidential candidate on the MAGA crowd's lips.